Welcome back to Anderson Acres. We are back gardening again and what we're doing is we're checking on our plants for sale. So they have been sitting in these containers one week. I have made sure to keep them well watered by keeping them in these trays. I have over 200 plants. What you want to do after a week is you want to check and see who's thriving, who's not. So a lot of these are getting really, really big. So I'll just show you here. Look at that guy. He's looking pretty darn good, I think. So he's going to be nice. Pop him back in here and put his lid back on. So what you want to do is check each one because if I go back here, this guy died. Okay? He's no good. So we're just going to set him aside. Leave his lid on. But we're going to set him aside. I can actually reuse that pot and that soil because not every seedling you have will survive the transfer, transfer okay, from the paper towel into their containers. So if they don't, that's fine. So you just go along and you check them. That one died, okay? Not because of anything in particular. Now, just, I should be honest here. What I did is I shuffled all my plants around and I put a bunch that I knew I had, had died in here so that I could show you the difference between plants that are doing really, really well, like this guy, and dead ones, like, I'll show you in a minute. Like this guy. So he's dead. So, yes, I shuffled them around and stole a bunch of the ones that had died because I've got about 200 plants. And I guess in those 200 plants, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six that died. So I put all six in here <laughs> just so you could see the difference. So you just go through and check. This guy's doing okay, but he's not fantastic. All right. So you can see he's not thriving as much as he should. That's okay. What we do is we put them closer to ones that are thriving. This one's okay. He's still alive. Good enough. So you're going to have some that are really nice and big. And that's excellent. Like this guy's doing pretty well. So you want to put them, because they'll be ready to go to their new homes. Yes, I talk about new homes for plants. But you'll be able to kind of gather them up and start to sell them when you've got more growth than this. So generally, I have them in their pots for two weeks before I sell them. So they're looking pretty darn good. See, that guy looks pretty nice down there, right down here. He looks pretty good. Put his lid back on. That's one that died, and I knew that one was one that died because I put it there. <laughs> so there are six total that died and out of about 200 plants. So all you have to do now is get rid of the ones that died, nurture the ones that are still alive, so if you have ones that are smaller, I think I, sh I showed you this one already, like this, you want to give him a little more attention, okay? A little, maybe give him some fertilizer. We use all natural fertilizer from our compost pile, which is mostly horse and goat and chicken manure that has been baked down. So you want to give them a little bit of fertilizer if they're having some trouble. If they're not having any trouble, just kind of let them go. Keep them watered because you do want to keep them watered. Remember water from the bottom? Fill up your watering can, water from the bottom. They are not ready to go to their new homes yet. I like to keep them in the pots for two weeks. Then you can start selling them. That's all we're going to talk about today is just checking your plants, rotating your plants, making sure you remove the ones that didn't survive. And how did I know that one didn't survive? I put it there. <laughs> so, yes, I have the six deliberate and the other ones here. So these are the six that didn't survive. And they're fine. I mean, you're going to lose some. That happens. But what you want to do, take your ones that have really good growth, put them in one section. Take the ones that don't have excellent growth, like this one is okay, but he's not excellent. Group them in another section. Group them kind of together. This is an excellent one, so he's going to go over here. So group the ones that don't have great growth together and... Give them extra attention. Give them some extra fertilizer. Basically, you just want to make sure that they are well looked after and everyone is thriving before you start um, selling them because you can't sell plants that don't look good. Okay? No one will want to buy them. So what you're going to do is keep tending to your plants for another week. Then we'll come back and we'll see if they're ready to sell. They probably will be, except for maybe a couple that are needing a little bit more tender, loving care, like this one, and I just dropped him. Sorry, man. <laughs> so I just dropped him. That was nice of me. So 
that's number six. Okay, so that is about it for us today because this is all you need to be doing now if you're wanting to prep your plants for sale. So just remember to keep your eye on them. Don't ignore them. You want to make sure you are watering from the bottom. Put them in a bright sunny area. So I like to push mine into the sun here, but I pull them back out of the sun for filming because in the sun is actually really kind of annoying <laughs> to film. So put your plants in, in bright sunlight, keep their tops on, make sure the tops are ventilated. I will put another link to um, these pot plant, these little pot, plant pots, I can't talk, these little uh, plant pots because they work really well. I really do recommend using them or something similar. Either way, whatever you use, you do want to keep an eye on your plants, water from the bottom. So that's about it for us here today at Anderson Acres. Come back in one week. We will have these plants ready for sale and I'll show you how I manage that. See you tomorrow.